it to a child to lead the way. <clears throat> a woman was shopping at Home Depot when she heard a little girl shout, Black Lives Matter. Well, the two would then pose for this photo, but their connection did not end there. Sean Chitness talked with both families, joins us live from Commerce City. And Sean, boy, a lot of good came from just one interaction. Jim, that's right. Not only a great new friendship, but also a powerful lesson for people of all ages. And it starts right here at this park where they recently had a Black Lives Matter rally that was family friendly. That's where the four year old in this story learned the importance of that chant and what it means to different people. Going into Home Depot, it was like fresh in her mind. Cameron Radcliffe already knows at the age of four why black lives matter. Because some people be me to black people. She says not everyone is nice to black people and that it's important to say this phrase in a way everyone can hear it. And we say black lives matter so loud. Black lives matter! A couple weeks ago, she was with her mom heading into Home Depot. We just got in the car to start shopping. And right as we started to enter, Sherry entered at the same time. Sherry Gonzalez was also visiting the store. And then I heard Black Lives Matter. And it wasn't like she said it like Black Lives Matter. She said it with strength and like she was making a point. Cameron's mom, Cassie, wasn't sure how someone might react. But thank you so much for saying that and for recognizing that my life matters. They took photos together and decided to see each other again. She said, would you like to come over for a sleepover? <laughs> and that just broke my heart. And I was like, I would love to. The families even partnered together for another good cause, raising money for Sherry's charity, helping girls go to school in Kenya. Anything to help these girls get an education and get a fair chance at life. A moment capturing the power of a movement two neighbors getting together and making a change around the world. The youth is going to change the world. In 10 years, we're going to see something different. So Cameron and Sherry are still working on planning that sleepover, but they've already bonded over their love of the Broncos. Sherry is the mother of the former player DJ Williams, and Cameron tells us she hopes to be a cheerleader for the team one day. For more information on that charity we mentioned that is doing that work in Kenya, we'll put that link on CBSDenver.com. Reporting live tonight in Commerce City, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. Love it. All right, Sean, thank you. Let's get